So just for reference, uh, the black box in the middle there is the coaxial choke and then just above it there is the dipole center of the 40 meter inverted V dipole. Okay, now I'll just pan around. I'm up on the roof at the moment and there's my um, limited space HF antenna just on the roof. And as you can see, I've brought the uh, tori closer to one another. And so you can probably just see the radials. So it's only a little system. And um, I'll just find the uh, dipole again. Yeah, there we go. So that's the center of the inverted V dipole. But of course, the, the ground is a lot lower down that end because I'm on a sloped block. We come uphill to the house and then it continues uphill up the back. So, there we go. Okay, so I've now put up a 40 meter half wave inverted V dipole. So the black box there is the coaxial choke and then we're going to the dipole center which is a uh, one to one current baron balance. It's actually an old Klansman ex US uh, military dipole center, <laughs> good old thing. I got my two wires for, you know, quarter wave at 40 meter coming down either side and as for the uh, limited space HF antenna, I've made a modification to that and I've decided now to operate the differential E-field toruses very close to one another to intensify the E-fields between them and see how much of a difference that makes. It has also, believe it or not, brought it into tune on 40 meters without the need for a tuner. And I've now set up a coaxial switch so I can go uh, antenna one being the uh, HF experiment, the limited space antenna, and antenna two being the dipole. So, first of all, center of the band on the experimental antenna, I'll key up, and you can see it's about a two to one, so it's close enough on the SWR. I'll go to the dipole now, and much lower, so it's less than a 1.5 to one, okay? So, dipole, very good on the center of the band there, and experimental antenna, not perfect, but it's pretty good. So, now we'll do some RX comparison. Now, incidence angle, all this is going to make a difference depending on the station. So, this is the experiment, and that's the dipole. And uh, that's the experiment. Now, not all results will be the same. Some will be better on the experiment. So it depends on the TOA, the, on the incident, uh, incidence angle or angle of incidence. So, let's see. So we've got. Oh, I'll try to get that zeroed. Dipole experiment. Dipole experiment. Dipole. I'll leave it on dipole for a minute. Experiment. Dipole experiment. Dipole experiment. Dipole experiment. Dipole experiment. Right, so now I'll see if I can find any further afield stations. Okay, I'll go back to the dipole. Experiment. Dipole. Experiment. Experiment. 
dipole experiment. Dipole. Experiment. Dipole. Experiment. <coughs> Sorry about this bad camera work. Dipole. Experiment. Dipole. Experiment. Dipole. Experiment. Dipole. Experiment. So, signal coming in from a low angle will be really, really good on the experiment. And the higher angles, of course, will suit the dipole. Back to the dipole. Experiment. Thank you very much. Yeah, only just made it. Dipole. starting to pull out from the wharf. Seven three. Experiment. The conditions are up and down like you wouldn't believe. Well, you probably would because you're you're here. Anyway, catch you later. Dipole. This is VK three HK Melbourne. In a while, crocodile. Experiment. That's it. It's not a heck of a lot in it, is there? Yeah. A full size dipole. Experiment. Right, so I'll flick on. Dipole. Experiment. Dipole. Experiment. Sorry about that. With a little trolley taking its stuff out to the antenna when the weather conditions are good. Dipole. Experiment. Oh, so I'll give that a listen. I'll go back to the dipole. Big difference there. Experiment. Dipole. Experiment. Okay. Dipole. Experiment. Dipole. Experiment. Beautiful. Dipole. Experiment. Okay, and back to the dipole. 
and back to experiment. Back to the dipole. And back to the experiment. Back to the dipole. Back to the experiment. Back to the dipole. Back to the experiment. Back to the dipole. Back to the experiment. 